Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week, um, I painted up a whole bunch of stuff for Ark World 2nd Edition, a really cool little indie skirmish game out of the UK, um, pitting some, in this case, two star sets of Halflings. There's the Halfling Militia, Will Be Shortwick's um, Luncheon Guard against Squiz Guard, Squig Elves, uh, Wild Elves, and they're like summonable minions. Those are my names, not official names. Anyway, <laughs> another 14 models done. Um, and I also built and painted, well not built and painted, but built and primed um, some new projects for next week. I got a Chaos Cult, I'll be running a Necro Monday. You saw the first um, episode of our Necro Monday campaign kicking off and uh, we filmed about the first three weeks. But we kind of want to run multiple gangs each and so I think what's going to happen is we're going to run through the first three weeks again with two new gangs and then when we go into the sort of like layover period uh, in a dominant, uh, was it a Dominus campaign? Dominus campaign? Domin something? Dominion campaign? Uh, then we'll start mixing and matching them afterwards. So the, the first three games in the narratives basically will be between uh, specific gangs, and then they'll start mixing and matching as we go through later on. I also dug out and um, cleaned up and assembled and primed some dwarf models for my 5th and 6th edition fantasy skirmish game, uh, and then just got some work done cleaning and assembling some um, stuff for Song of Ice and Fire as well. So we'll show what I got done and what is coming up. So here's everything I got painted this week. We have the two starter sets for the halflings over here. This is Welby Shortwick and his luncheon guard. Uh, you can tell the luncheon guard because of their um, heraldry there, the crossed knife and fork. Uh, and then um, you get two halflings with torches, two with ranged weapons, uh, two with like melee weapons and shields, and you get a troll hound for chasing trolls, which is pretty important when you have to fight trolls. Um, and over here is a starter set for the wild elves. You get uh, Two wild elves, one's a war chief. You can tell he's a war chief because he has the fanciest hair. Uh, and one's just a warrior with a sacrificial blade there and he's, you know, cut somebody's heart out. Uh, and then you get two of these guys, which are like, um, what are they called? Briar something? Like they're basically like like a summonable sort of like um, monster. You inhabit like some of the forest floor with, uh, with monster stuff. And then I also have like a, a ghost bird. I'm, I'm completely spacing on their names right now. <laughs> Because oh, they have it's like Briar Witch or something like that, and then some type of like birdling. <laughs> I'm totally forgot the names. Um, but both of these are roughly 500 gold piece war bands uh, when you start getting them upgrades and gear and stuff. And we uh, we tried it last night. You can see it on Tuesday, which was super fun. Uh, and then finally a forest troll. This guy's awesome. You can see there's a halfling hiding inside that uh, that stump trying to get away. And uh, he's got various trees and mushrooms and bony bits growing out of him. Nice big scenic base and stuff too. He's a great model. Uh, all this stuff sculpted by Alex Huntley and all sculpted traditionally. None of this stuff is digitally sculpted. This is all putty pushing, um, which in this day and age is uh, pretty rare. I have a ton of fun painting them this week. It's another 14 models, um, which puts me at 630-ish miniatures for the year, I think. We're getting up there. <laughs> Can't remember exactly how many at this point. Maybe 40, 640, 630, something like that. Look at the title. I'll work it out before I actually post this. Um, and then I'm actually shooting today on, this is a cool new, it's a neoprene game mat, but it's a photography mat uh, from gamemat.eu. And I'll be using this from now on. There's a purple one and a green one um, in all of my on the paint tables because I think it just looks slick. Tell me what you think. Um, it's a four by four. And uh, and yeah, just it, it's gonna be fun. I think we'll use it made for board games and stuff too. It's just like a cool backdrop when you want to do stuff and uh, very handy for particularly this type of video. It's like it's like they made a mat just for doing painting videos. Um, I'll also put a link in the crowdfund or in the sorry in the video description below for the crowdfund for these. Um, Alex is doing a crowdfund for basically relaunching his his whole arc world like range into a new edition, a second edition. Uh, and it's, it's crushing it right now. So if you want to get some of these models, there's a bunch of deals on um, for grabbing star sets and warbands and robux and dice and all that stuff too. And here's all the stuff coming up. Uh, I was lucky enough to get some, sent some copies of the new Servants of the Abyss and Cultists of the Abyss box sets for Blackstone Fortress, which means I have a second set now for adding more baddies to my games, um, as well as this, which is the Abominable Intellect deck. Uh, this is 34 new encounter cards basically and rules card to add up, basically make your encounters crazier. So to replace the encounter card deck, and I think for our Escalation League, I'm going to use this because it ups the difficulty significantly for when you're fighting, um, and I'm pretty stoked about that. But yeah, I'm going to paint up the Chaos Cult right away because I'm going to use it in Necromunda. So I just got them assembled and primed here, and I put them on some. They don't come with these bases. Um, I've got the Sector Mechanicus base set, and I use them to, to match my Necromunda set. 
um, but they are a perfect Necromunda gang when you include the Firebrands. The Firebrands can give me a leader in this case uh, and have a heavy weapon, and then I've got um, also the the Warlocks, so I can have a weird uh, and have some like evil psychic powers too. You get a grenade launcher, a bunch of auto guns, and then of course if you use the Cult Leader as just like a uh, champion, you have a cool melee dude too. Although the Chaos Cults and Necromunda aren't particularly stabby, they're a bit shootier than they are stabby. Um, I think my starting warband for a thousand creds is the weird. Uh, he's my demagogue, and then I've got uh, stubber. Uh, sorry, heavy stubber, rather two stubbers. I think one has a grenade. It was six guys to start, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and the um, the melee champion. Just have some kind of melee offensive ability too. This will be the second warband that I run. Chris really wants to paint his Vansars, and my Vansars met a an ignoble end. Or a terrible fate at the hands of my son. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hold off on my Vansars, and, and I'm gonna start painting these. The wonderful, fun character for models. I haven't painted my escalation set yet, but I'm gonna paint this setup first. Uh, I can of course use them for escalation as well. And then over here, man, I I deep dove um, for some cool dwarves to do a dwarf set for my skirmish. Uh, my um, Warcry Blood Dragon, my sixth edition fantasy skirmish rule set that I wrote. It's a, it's a free PDF you can download from one of my patrons. I'm doing another series. Chase Patterson's coming in. You saw him in my Rangers of Shadow Deep video recently with um, uh, the big multiplayer game that we did. And these are like some Marauder Dwarves. There's Marauder, uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, Troll Slayers. Uh, the Marauder, like, this is a hill. Dwarf. He looks like a sam or he looks like a um. He's got like a sam, like almost like a, a, a Saracen's like big like scimitar. Uh, and then I've got all of the Grudge of Drong set too. So there's Drong over there. He's got my champion, and then all of his drunk dwarves. So the drunk dwarf, uh, clansman, crossbowman, hammer, and last but not least, a a miner too. So I've got lots of different like profile types to try out. Uh, and then a group of Marauder Dwarfs as a champion here, and a um, I'll use them as a Thunderer banner bearer, I guess, so you can have a, a, a like a handgun. And I kind of have like one of every six edition dwarf unit type in here, uh, and then three Slayers, because like who doesn't want to have extra Slayers? But it gives me lots of options, lots of points painted up, because dwarves are not cheap. Like this is way this is like two hundred points for the dwarves minus the hero, um, and means that we'll be able to play a whole bunch of games. He's painting some fifth and sixth edition like orcs and goblins, which is going to be awesome. And I felt like it was natural to do some dwarves to fight them. From there, I want to get into another night models project. So I'm going to start painting up the dark night uh, dark night rises, not returns. Um, two player sure set. So I got to do Batman. This is Bale Batman. I've got Alfred to paint up. Uh, Selena Kyle, Catwoman, and then potentially Herna Batpod as well, and then three GCPD officers, which is exciting because it means my Brave and the Bold can get some cheapo troops to actually go and fight. So they're my next, um, they're my next uh, Night Models project, having finished my uh, Teen Titans and um, all my Joker crew stuff. Although I do have one or two models to paint for my Suicide Squad, I'll probably do them in between painting this stuff up, along with Katana because she's actually a henchman for the Brave and the Bold anyway. And then, yeah, it's just some simple stuff. I got my... Uh, base coats down. I cleaned up all the mold lines on the Tully Cavaliers, got some grit down on them, and got them primed, and I just threw in my Serio and uh, Watcher crew there too, so you can see what other stuff I'm working on for Song of Ice and Fire. And that's it, so there's, so there's lots of lots of things to do. I got a couple weeks to finish this. I actually want to finish the first six of these guys for next week, so I can play a game against Chris. And I don't currently have any Batman on the schedule, but hopefully it's going to fill up soon, and um, I'll get to play my Brave and the Bold. Uh, on top of that, two more box sets I'm working on. I got Gotrek Gurdus, and I had to get him. He's just too awesome. Like, why would I not buy him? And some Palatine Enforcers. When I was ordering all the um, the new books for uh, Necromunda, that didn't have I didn't have the book of um, what is it? The book of Perils and the book of Judgments. I just I threw an order for them in too, just because the models are awesome. So we're on the 14 models. Then it's 640 finished for the year. Out of 886, so 246 more to paint. We'll see how we do. I mean, between the Necromunda gang and the dwarves, it's another 20 something. Ah, we'll see. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> so, I'll see you next Saturday for more of this. Until next time, I'm Ash. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Bear Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, 
big thanks to everyone past future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.